Hey, I'm so glad you could be here. Before the video begins, why don't you subscribe to this channel so that you'll be notified as they come through. Have you ever had times of self-doubt? Perhaps you're nodding your head already going, oh yeah, every day. Well, today was one of those days for me. It's been a tough year for a lot of people. It's been certainly a tough year for me also. And today, as I was having just a moment of introspective thought, I said to the Lord, Father, am I good enough? Am I good in this area or that area? Uh, life can be so complicated. And as I said, Lord, life is so complicated. I, f I literally felt him say to me, well, why are you complicated? I, I paused for a moment and said, well, Lord, life really is complicated. And then again, I felt the Lord say to me, is it? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. In the busyness of this world, and sometimes the confusion of change that happens all around about us, I really did feel the Lord say to me, why don't you run to me? Because right there, you're safe. I reflected on uh, the widow in the Bible. I don't know if she was a mother. We definitely know that she was a widow. And she just simply gave all she could. And she took Jesus' attention right there and then. There are times we want to push ourselves to impress others, even to impress God. And yet I felt the Lord say, look, I'm not as interested in your sacrifice as in your obedience and that God is very impressed by the small acts of obedience not always the big grand thing that we have planned for our church or the people or around about us or our family but the small acts that where we just say father I want to give this to you parents have you ever had one of your children just draw you a picture and although that picture may not be you know hung in you know the big art galleries of the world to you it's pretty special and I felt the Lord say to me that's how I am with you that when you come to me you're safe it's gonna be okay well there were all sorts of thoughts going through my mind and then I reflected on another woman in the Bible who pressed through the crowd and merely touched the hem of Jesus' garment. We understand the story, don't we? That uh, she had an issue of blood for many years, considered unclean in those times. And yet, in her own strength, all she could do was just push through the crowd, touch Jesus' garment. There again, she took the attention of Jesus. That his strength is made perfect in my weakness. I reflected today again on that beautiful song where, that I gave my life to the Lord with, just as I am, just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me. I love the words, the highest place on earth is still at the feet of Jesus. So at the conclusion of this day, I am left to realize that I am his child. Well, I realized it all along, but you know, I'm comforted in the knowledge that Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. I love those words, and I'm sure you do also. Oh, look, they're from, you know, they're, they're, it's, a, it's a children's song. But as an adult, there are times I just want to run to him as a child and say, Oh, Father, I love you. And there are times that's just all we need to do. It's not about our sacrifice. It's about our obedience, our faithfulness to get up in the morning and say, good morning, Lord. Would you do the best in me today? And as we grow and mature in him, we take steps with him and we learn that it's not about whether I'm good enough. It's that he is perfect, that his strength is made perfect in our weakness. And we walk and journey together with Jesus. Mm.